This is the eye model. And this gray part is the part we'll focus on first. Here we have the lacrimal gland or lacrimal apparatus. This will produce tears that wash into the surface of the eye, wash across, and then drain out through here. So this is that nasal lacrimal duct. Remember that small hole that we had in the lacrimal bone? That was for this to come through. The muscle around the eye is the orbicularis oculi, which we also covered in our chapter on muscles. Now that takes us to the fibrous coat of the eye. The white around the eye is the sclera, and this clear part in the front, or transparent part, is the cornea. That's the fibrous coat of the eye. Associated with this, we have several muscles that attach to the sclera. We have four straight muscles. This is the superior rectus. There'd be the inferior rectus down here, the medial rectus, and we know medial versus lateral because of where that lacrimal gland was and that makes this the lateral rectus. When I pull this layer off, we can see a second muscle here that's oblique in nature. That is the superior oblique, and on the bottom side we would have an inferior oblique as well. This brown layer that we are seeing here is the choroid coat, and when we turn that area over, that lighter colored area with blood vessels that we see is the retina. On the retina, there is a little pink dot right here. That pink dot is the phobia centralis. Over to the side here, we have the optic nerve. Now, in the front of the optic nerve, we have no photoreceptors here. So this is the optic disc, which is the blind spot for the eye. On the inside here, the scalloped area is the aura serrata, and this area with the white lines, this is ciliary muscle or ciliary body, we can also see that on this side is this white line going around. This blue area here is the iris, which we know can change color for human to human. And then this hole that looks black, yay, it looks black, it's the pupil. Now if we take our cornea, well, let's turn this to the side first. So we have the cornea and the lens standing up should be like that. The space between the cornea and the lens here is the anterior chamber, and that will hold aqueous fluid, which is aqueous humor. This is the lens of the eye, and remember it's connected in here and changes shape using the ciliary body or ciliary muscle to contract, and that will cause changes to the suspensatory ligament. This plastic funky ball represents the posterior cavity of the eye, which has the vitreous humor in it. And that covers, I think, all the structures on our eye model. Thank you.